Hey everybody, this is Carl. Today I'm not from Elon Tech Support because what I'm about to show you is an unsupported way of changing a picture of your main tab. So Elon Tech Support does not support that. Do not call them to uh, get help on this because they're not going to help you. It's not supported. I created this video because I think it's kind of cool to be able to change the picture and I get the call all the time. So please feel free to use this video, but keep in mind that if you break your system, because you didn't follow all the steps that I told you to, or you decided to do something on your own, or change it, whatever, that's on you. Don't call tech support saying, hey, Carl created a video and now I broke my system. So if you're afraid of that, or you don't have confidence in yourself, please don't do this. All right, let's get to it. So what I'm talking about is you want to be able to change this picture right here on this icon, because you decided instead of using lighting for lighting, you wanted to use it to control your shades or your fireplace or whatever it is, and you don't want the person that's controlling this or your customer or whatever to get confused. Hey, Mr. Customer, to control your fireplace, go into the lighting tab, and there you can control your fireplace. Yeah, that's just silly. So instead, we want to say, hey, Mr. Customer, go into your shading tab, and there you can control all your curtains. So let's go to uh, Configurator, and I'm going to show you where to find these files or pictures. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to go to down to the Content tab and pull up your TV channels and click on any channel, so ABC, whatever. Hit Select Icon. That's going to bring up this window here. What you're going to do then is navigate to your System folder under Main 128-point System. There you can see that's what all the current icons look like. It's right here. So we need to change this one. So we're going to change that to shades. Now keep in mind the 128 point is for your um, your main menu on on the uh, viewer. Excuse me for stumbling there. I can't talk. I talk to you guys all day long, and and here I am at the end of the day, and I'm losing my voice. So sorry guys. Uh, but anyways, this is where you want to change it. As soon as you're on this folder, go ahead and click Browse Folder. What you're going to do is you're going to delete this. So before you delete it, though, let me back up. What I recommend is that you go ahead and download it from the system and save it somewhere so that you can bring it back in. So do that, save it on your desktop, whatever, and put it somewhere there. Now you can delete it. Boom. Yes, I'm sure I just deleted the lighting icon. So the very next thing you got to do, I'm going to go ahead and close this for a minute. And let's pretend like you already downloaded a picture, this cool little guy right here. That's going to be your new shades icon. So keep in mind, you got to download an image that is exactly 128 pixels by 128 pixels. So if you're following along there, you can see that I right-clicked on there, went to Properties, clicked on Details. It is 128 by 128, 32-bit depth. That's important. Otherwise, it might mess things up. So don't forget that step. So if you're downloading a picture from the Internet, you can Google things. I also recommend that you download it as a PNG file type because that's going to give you transparency. If you don't and you have a JPEG, you might have to use Photoshop to convert it. I have not tried a JPEG yet, so I don't know what it will do. So I recommend don't doing anything that I haven't done yet, unless you don't mind messing up your system. So I went to Google. I typed in the word shades.png, and then I searched for images, and I found this. I also went to, I, I'm sorry, I didn't find this yet. I also went to where you can change the resolution on what you want to find. I put 128 by 128, and this cool little guy came up. Next thing I did is I renamed it by right-clicking on it, hit rename, to lighting.png. That's important. It's got to have the same file name that the other one had. Here's this little guy that I already pulled out earlier. Keep in mind that I rename it to 2 because you can't have the same name on the same folder. So rename it to lighting.png once you have it somewhere. Go ahead and pull configurator back up. Go back into that select icon window. Go back and navigate back to your system folder. Hit browse. 
And now you're going to upload that new lighting.png. So hit upload the system, find your picture. There it is. Hit open. It is in there. Now we can close it and hit OK. Key step here. Oh, make sure you save that or not. Is to restart your configurator. So go right click on system, hit restart target system software only. Click yes. And keep in mind, guys, it will take two to three minutes before that thing boots back up. So instead of making you guys wait for two to three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording and come back. And I am back. Cool. So I got my viewer up. Now you can see got a brand new icon for my lighting. And it's a little shades guy. So that is how you change the picture on your main tab icons, or whatever you want to call them. So that, that's it, guys. Not supported. Please remember, don't call Elon Tech Support. And uh, cool. If you haven't done it yet, go to the Elon Forum. Register. Get on there. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff on there, including these videos. Um, of course, you can always visit the YouTube video page and see more of these. Have a good one.